Okay, um, so yeah, quite a lot of um, things to demo this week because I've been away for a few weeks. Um, but probably start with tags because tags is pretty ready and, and, and quite interesting. Um, so we've added it to the blog recipe um, and so everyone can kind of catch up where um, yes, categories also. Yeah, we've um, added a separate editor to the, the taxonomy, so tags will become part of taxonomies, which means that you could migrate from a tag system to a taxonomy system easier. Um, but we've also added it to the blog recipe as well, um, so I'll start a new um, blog up. So many tenants. Oh, I know. I, I must get rid of some of these, but um, so many demos, so many um, issues. Don't tell me that. Initialize. That's weird. Or you double clicked, maybe. Yeah, maybe I double click. Um. So first off, let's look at the front side, front of the side. Um, so what we've introduced is um, a taxonomy category and tags. Um, so we have tags for the, the main post and then we've put a, a category for it as well. Um, and if we look at the, um, the thing, we'll also get those. And I seem to be missing the tags. Uh, did we have that in the template from um, the original template, tags and was there in any? That there was not, no. So this okay. is in addition to the, the start bootstrap. Okay. Thing. Personally, um, I will put these tags at the top level with the title and the posted the metadata here, not at the bottom. Yeah, I don't... We can pop them up there. I think I put them down here because I found that they were there on Medium or something. Okay. Yeah. It's a detail, just opinion. We'll see. Yeah. But, but equally, they could they could sit up here quite nicely. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but again, it's it isn't. Um, it isn't matching the theme now. So this is probably our first move away from the Start Bootstrap blog theme to add a bit more functionality to it. Yeah, well, that is fine if it's just that. <laughs> we need yeah, tags, so I mean, we need tags and that's fine, so. It's nice, we need tags, and this also means that we have, um, I'll show you here, um, we have two different tax taxonomies now as well. We have a, a tags taxonomy and a categories taxonomy. Um, so I think that's probably quite useful for people to actually see pre-built in a theme, how they work. No, that's good, I like it. Um, so if we were to look at the tags one. Um, we just have these standard tags here. And if we were to go to look at a blog post, we now have two different editors. We have the tags editor. And somewhere we should be seeing the um, the other editor as well. It's cool a bug. Maybe with the script <laughs> updates, they are completing. Let's have a look at it. It's there. Yeah, it's there, it's just not showing up. It's a JavaScript issue, I'm sure you'll find it. That is actually published as well. And if you look in the blog post, I'm sure you will see a JavaScript issue.
Nope. So nope. it's just missing. Wow. Let me just save that. We'll see. And no, there it is. Yeah, but there's a bug. It's not sure. Uh, okay, I know what this bug is. Um, I've actually I have reported that there's a slight issue with the um the way it builds divs with the editor. Okay. Um, I haven't had time to fix it. Um, if, if we look at this um control here, it, it's it's missing a couple of divs depending on how many um categories you have and how they work. Um, just because of the way it counts up to do indenting. Okay. Oh yeah, the one you filed, you said make it better. I say yeah, do it better. Yeah, yeah, I, I will make it better. Um, I, I, I probably I swap it for the. Um, we talked the... about it during triage. Yeah. We say fine. Yeah. Yes. We say no, you, you don't no, like my no. code. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we lose the other category, which is annoying. The tags category. Um, okay. Good. Um, so the interesting things to know about the um, the categories, um, these ones I've just built up with with, and it, again it's not showing. Okay, so I'm having some having some slight technical difficulties here, um, but they're also they're built up with an icon field as well. Um, which, and just to explain, category is a custom type, a taxonomy of category custom types. And because it's a custom type, you can have custom properties. And in this case, you defined uh, an icon using the icon picker or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Just using the icon picker, just because we can. Yep, beautiful. Um, whereas if we go to the tags taxonomy, um, there's no custom icon picker here. As we create tags automatically, if we go to the blog, and if we can make this thing show, yep. So as we add a, a new tag, we can just click enter here, and that will have gone away and created the tag um, and selected it. Because um, it's an open taxonomy. And where do you set that it's an open taxonomy? Um, let me say oh, that. on the field. That um, it is field. Oh, yeah, Good. Safe. Yeah, that makes sense. I like it. Um, so what I did for the field settings um, is for the tags settings, um, I've made another setting for this, um, separate from the ordinary taxonomy settings, mm -hmm. um, because we don't use the open um, setting on the taxonomies currently, it's just there, um, but for tags you want it to be open by default. Oh, I remember. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of either or with that. It could be part of the the the, the normal settings, um, but then they wouldn't be open by default, which would be perhaps confusing for users as to why they couldn't automatically. Yeah, I get it. Um, but for the rest of them, settings-wise, um, all of these settings still apply. Um, so required works, unique. That's that's it. That's what I didn't like in the PR. That you had to test for the type of editor even in the default driver, and it's not because it, this is just because you don't have a choice. And that's what we I think talked briefly. We need to change that. We need to be able to define some metadata on the field editor to say I'm replacing a, this other editor like the default one. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do. Ah, yeah. I've actually got some code I can demo for that, okay. kind of. Um, because there's a, there's a PR open for using, I call it display factories, um, but it just registers all of the um, display drivers through an options interface um, and resolves them through that rather than. It's an old PR. Um, me and um, Jean Free worked on them a little bit. Um, but we could use that to, when we register the content options, um, say what driver should be called or what editor mode should be called for the driver. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we should have we should have a talk about that sometime, but maybe mm -hmm. maybe not quite. Um, so, what happens when you automatically create a tag um, through? 
this um, interface here is it sets the, the display text uh, property only. So if you have another property placed on here, you would have to go, then go in and save that later um, because we have, we have no editor for creating anything other than display text, but tags should be all about display text. If that makes sense? Yep. And that's kind of where we're at with tags. They're pretty ready to go. I need to check a couple of things now to make sure that um, that recipe is building correctly um, from scratch. Um, so I assume we should we should document somewhere that when people create tags with open tags, at least in the description of the open taxonomy checkbox you have in the settings, to document that the type that is created, the tag or whatever open type is used, should be valid if only the display text is set. Or there should be a workflow to define default values and so on. Or just default values on the field, such that people don't create uh, invalid items by creating new tags. Just document that. It will be good for 99%, but at least people don't complain about it. I'm like, then don't use tags, use content picker and then don't. Exactly. Um, I'll put something on the, um, the setting here that makes sense. Um, the, the content item itself will be created correctly, and I, I tested it if you put a few, few other parts on it. Um, you just have to null check in your views a little bit because the, the data won't be there until it's resaved. But that's okay. pretty normal when you're adding new parts to, to something. Whenever I see Sotiris commenting on the chat, I see he's typing something. I'm scared that he will find an issue. <laughs> Something we haven't thought about. He's got so much experience on, on these kind of sites. Uh, see, I have some doubts about terms UI. Okay, you see? Uh, so we'll, he'll, he'll give us feedback. That's good. 